I hope in the last video you got a fair idea about parameters in CDS. In this video, we will dive a little deeper into CDS with parameters. So we will take the parameters from the input and we will show in the output. We will also use the pa another parameter in doing some calculations in the select statement. And we will also use another parameter as a string and then concatenate it with some fields of the uh, table and show it the output and we will also show one parameter in the case statement so let's see uh, how we can do that in this example for the demo we will use the same cds so i'll just change few of uh, the input parameters so i don't want to show them exactly as this one um, I'll change this name to again back to say para 2 or something like that. I'll, I'll just remove the text for now. I will define another uh, since I want to show the uh, concat function. I will define one um, parameter as string. Okay, I'll say this as a character so what is the data type for character see if you see dot char and then you need to give the length so i will take a character of 10 length and then um i would like to okay i need to remove this comma from here and i want to use this in the where clause so the param2 i will use in the where clause which we already learned how we can do that over here and I need to remove this as well so this is the basic okay there is nothing called p char id so it should be p say param2 all right so we have the basic cds again ready with two uh, parameters of which second one we are using in the where clause now I want to use these characters in some in some operation here so what I will I'll try to do is I will say so say if this is char id so I'll, I'll do a concat function so there is a fu standard function in CDS so you can find the list I'll share that as well say if it is char id and I'll give I want to concatenate with parameters which field I will say concatenate with the parameter first one param1 and I will treat it as so what I'll say as concat param so let's see if this identifies or not uh, let me activate this so what happened we we have a char id and now we want to show another field which has char id plus what is input in the selection screen all right so let me say give an example so paramide i'll say lufthansa and then in param2 i give lh okay let's see how the output looks like so if you see here the char id was lh and then we concatenated lufthansa so where does this lufthansa come from the lufthansa came from this guy pair one so let me show you one more time what we did so we had this pair one so param one is used in the concatenation so this is 10 character field i'll say lufthansa and then pair two i just entered the char id i know this is ls is the standard one so if i execute it it created one column new column which says concat param and it has the concatenation of lh from the table and lufthansa from the parameter one so this is one first demo which i wanted to show how we can use the parameter in the string operation now let us see how we can use a case statement with the parameters so in after this say i want to use a case statement the so case statement is like case and I'll give 
I want to case on the parameter and which parameter I want to see I want to do with the char id say so char id is p underscore param2 and I will say when say when I will write lh so then say Lufthansa and else when it is anything other than Lufthansa LH then I'll say print it as others and then you have to give and as text or you say case para so this is an example with the parameter used in a case statement so this is a case statement so when it is LH give us Lufthansa when it is not LH give us others so if I execute this sorry activate this and then once it is execute, executed so I'll give say first I'll give say American airline and then param I'll give say AA so let's see how it behaves so here AA got concatenated with American Airlines so AA American Airlines that's we already saw and then there is another one like here case underscore para it came as others because why because we have written that if it is LH only then give Lufthansa for all other cases give others so now say if I we change the input now if I press F8 I give Luf or I'll give American Airlines here or let's say Indian but I want to give LH here so if I give Indian this is not validated anywhere it is just concatenating so LH is being used somewhere here so ls is being used here so if it is ls then it should show lufthansa so if i give here so see here ls got con indian got concatenated with ls which is fine but the case parameter we saw lufthansa earlier when we entered american airline or aa it showed others now it is showing as lufthansa so hope you now know how to use parameters in case now let us see how we can use parameters as numbers so i will I want to give I want to know if we give a 10% discount how uh, what will be the fare for that um, airline so I'll use another parameter say factor and this time it is not string or uh, char id so I'll use ABAP so if you give ABAP dot and then give enter so it has all this I'll use decimal decimal and then I need to give it has 3 comma 2 okay so this is my p factor and where i want to use it i want to see if the price if we give a discount on the price say i say price is whatever price we have and if we give a discount say we want to give parameter p factor as i say a discounted price so in this case say i i enter 0.2 that means if I have a 20% discount, what will the money I will save? All right. So let me execute this. So what are we trying to do here is we are trying to use the parameter as a factor in the numeric calculation. So what do we do? So we say that if there is a 50% discount in the price, then how much do I save? What is the discounted value? So let's check it so the first two we know so it is like it's just concatenating i will not enter any anything this is lufthansa and now i say i get a 50 percent discount so if i get a 50 percent discount what will be my new fare or what would be my new price so if i do here execute and so, so this one we already checked case of the parameter we already checked now look at the price so price is six seven eight and we entered a factor of 0.5 so if we get a 50% discount then my discounted price will be 339 all right so if i go down if see okay if it is 254 then my discounted price will be 127 so i hope you now know how to use the parameters in the calculations for the first parameter we show so you how to concatenate it say the requirement is you want to show the last two characters of the input field then how can we do that so let me show you that so if we if you want to show the last two characters of what the user entered 
then there is another string operations which which is called substring yep substring and then we need to give the argument which is say parameters and then we have say first parameter and then from where to where we want to show show the last two characters so if it is a 10 character then we want to show it from 8 to say we want to say 2 so what will this do and then we have to give a uh, alias so we will say last two fields last two cares okay so what will this do so this this will do a string operation and show us the last two character of what the user enters in this parameter so i will say my name is sap so 10 character done parameter 2 lh factor say 0 0.50 so what should be the output i'm expecting i should see only ap in the output okay i gave more than that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it should be sa okay so because i was entering 11 character it was not taking now the output should show as sa as one of the last two character you see this sa so how did it come it came because we did a string operation here where we said show the last two fields how did we know because this is 10 character i showed 8 to 2 show me the substring as the last two characters the other day one of the participants asked can the parameters be optional the answer is yes if we use the environment system fields so there are four fields like system date system time user system language so if you specify that this parameter is uh, environment uh, or a system variable then even if you don't enter the value in the parameters the system will automatically uh, default the system parameters so let me show you some examples so in the cds i would like to show the run date okay so how what should be then uh, my approach so i should define another parameter say um, p run date or run date and then what should be the parameter type it's a system field i know syst and i do d okay system data so if i do only this much and then if i type here as parameter p run date as run date then our parameter is not yet optional so if you just define system datum it doesn't mean that it will be optional it will still be mandatory if you see here it's still mandatory mandatory means all have an asterisk so you cannot run without entering the date but if you want to bypass it and and let the system know that this is a environment field in that case you need to give at the rate i'll say environment you see here environment system field you need to let the system know there's the environment system field and you need to tell them what type of field is this if you see hash so there are like one two three four five i said four earlier is five client is also there so client system date language system time and user this can be defaulted so if i say system date now if i execute it and if i don't enter the system date or the run date the, the cds will still work so let me do an f8 and now if you see la i'll say india parameter is lh factor is 0 0.50 and i don't enter a run date so what will happen if you execute this the run date will come as default if you see the run date it has defaulted it to today's date so today is 20 okay my my server has 23rd so today is 23rd and that is being defaulted so similarly you can default what the username you can default the time you can default the client so let me show you username this is, will be the last example for these parameters so run 
by say this is very common commonly asked in cds so s y s t so i'll say i need to give a comma here and then i'll say it's user okay username and then i need to give the environment i need to let the system know that this is environment system field and don't expect me to enter every time so it will be user so here i can give run by all right so this is a very common requirement in where you need to give the run date run time and run by all right so i give you parameters and I'll say p run by as run by. Now let me activate this. And let's execute it. So if I do F8, I give parameter, say INDIA, param is like LH factor is 0 0.50. And I don't give the run date and run time. So if I execute it, you will see that my run date is today's date and run by is my SAP user ID SCR06. Uh, I hope you got some fair idea of how we can play around with the C parameters in CDS. In the next video, we will learn how we can pass values of the parameters of the CDS from another CDS and also we will see how we can pass the values to the parameters of the CDS from an ABAP program.